I want you to study law and that is my final decision. If you are not ready to study law in the university then you better start looking for the person that would sponsor your studies. But mother, I am not interested in law, I don't even see myself being a lawyer, I want to go to fashion school and learn how to make dresses, I am passionate about fashion design. You should see my sketches mom, they are so good. What's the point of going to spend years in college of law when I don't intend to use it at all? Your sister is a medical doctor, I chose that for her and your brother is an engineer, I chose that for him. Your dad is a retired banker and I retired as a matron, can't you see that we are a family of professionals, can't you see that is the reason we are doing well? Well you will do as I say or forget about school altogether, the ball is in your court. Sarah, look at you. You're always sketching. Have you thought more about which law school you want to apply to? Actually, Mom, I've been thinking. I really want to go to fashion school. I love designing and creating clothes. Fashion school. Sarah, we've talked about this. A career in law is more stable and prestigious. I know, but fashion is my passion. I feel like I can make a real impact in the industry. Sarah, we understand your interest, but we believe law will offer you a better future. You'll thank us later. Sarah, I want you to study law and that is my final decision. If you are not ready to study law at the university then you better start looking for the person that would sponsor your studies. But mother, I am not interested in law, I don't even see myself being a lawyer, I want to go to fashion school and learn how to make dresses, I am passionate about fashion design. You should see my sketches mom, they are so good. What's the point of going to spend years in college of law when I don't intend to use it at all? Your sister is a medical doctor, I chose that for her and your brother is an engineer, I chose that for him. Your dad is a retired banker and I retired as a matron, can't you see that we are a family of professionals, can't you see that is the reason we are doing well? Well you will do as I say or forget about school altogether, the ball is in your court. Mummy I'm going to be late for my classes. I really have to go now, can we have this conversation later? Have you discussed with Sarah about her choice of university? The joint admission form has to be filled, I saw the form on the table. She hasn't made any attempt to fill the form. I have, she's insisting on going to a fashion school. What does she know at 17? Her older siblings followed our direction and they turned out right. She has always had a mind of her own for the longest time, but I won't let her have her way this time around. I will fill the form and submit it. She would sit for the jam exams and go to the university. Whether she likes it or not. You were so distracted during the classes. We need to focus so we can pass our WASSCE exams. I filled my jam form last night. That form is so long. My dad brought the form home but I haven't filled it. To be honest I don't think the university is an option for me, I want to make dresses, all I need is to go to a fashion school to build and improve on my skills but my parents would not have it, they want me to study law. I can imagine, the irony of life. My parents don't even care which course I choose to study, they have never paid attention to my academics apart from paying my fees and performing any other financial obligation with regards to my studies or future. Do you know my results was on the table for weeks and neither my dad nor my mum mentioned anything about it. It's been like that, sometimes I wish they cared just a little bit. I filled my form online and submitted without their input. My dad is always on his system trading and my mum is always busy with her several business ventures. I envy you sometimes because you HSVE parents that care. Well I wish they didn't even care, at least I would be able to do what I want to do. What course did you choose? How do I get my parents to understand me? I really want to follow my passion. Heavenly Father, I thank you for putting this passion in my heart. I desire to go to fash school but my parents are not on agreement, they want me to study law by all means. I know you put this passion and desire in my heart for a reason, help my parents see and understand this reason. In Jesus' name, Amen. Mrs. Johnson, it's been a while how are you doing? 
Yes, it has. When did you return from your journey and how are the kids? They are all doing well. Neeria just launched her new clothing online store. You should check it out. She has really nice stuff. I thought Neeria was a medical doctor. My sister, you know the mistake I made was to lean on my own understanding when it came to choosing the career path for me kids because Neeria was brilliant and did well in her biology and chemistry. I forced her to study medicine and she spent 7 years in medical school. She finished and practiced for like 5 very long and unhappy years and one day she dropped her resignation letter and pursued her passion. This time she didn't even seek for my consent. I had to agree with her lose our relationship. But then I realized she has been so happy and fulfilled. She is doing well. If I could turn back the hands of time, I would have sought her input. I would have prayed to God for direction on how to help her with her career choice. I would have looked at where her interest lies. At least I would have saved myself the high cost of sending her to medical school. Well, in hindsight, it's not all wasted. Neeria volunteers as a doctor for a Christian medical outreach go and that's about all she does with her medical knowledge. This is serious. You know my little Sarah has been saying she doesn't want to study law and I and her father have been on her case. Listening to you now, I realized we haven't even taken time to listen to her or even prayed about it. Please pray about it. Carefully listen to her and see how you can help her. Some kids are already aware of what they want to do in life while some needs us to help redirect their attention. If you have a child who is fully certain if what they want, pray and seek clarity from God on how to help them. Not all kids will be professionals, some will be skilled. The most important thing is that they are found at the center of God's will for their life and fulfilling purpose. This is so true Mrs. Elijah. Thank you for sharing this important lesson with me. You should stop by for lunch. I am making a faux riro and white rice. I will definitely stop by. You know I don't joke with your faux riro. I will come with some cookies. We need to catch up on old times, my friend. Good day, Mrs. Elijah. Sarah, how do you do? Your mom told me about your plans. How are you feeling? Conflicted, Mrs. Elijah. I love fashion, but my mom and dad want me to be a lawyer. Sarah. It is important to honor your parents, Sarah, but it's also important to follow your heart. Have you tried explaining why fashion means so much to you? Not really. I'm afraid they won't understand. Give them a chance, Sarah. Show them your passion and dedication. They love you and want to see you happy. Heavenly Father, I thank you for putting this passion in my heart. I desire to go to fash school but my parents are not on agreement. They want me to study law by all means. I know you put this passion and desire in my heart for a reason. Help my parents see and understand this reason. In Jesus name, amen. My love, you know lately I have been thinking about Sarah's choice. She seems so determined and confident in her decision. Unlike her older siblings, it's going to be hard for us to bend her towards our will for her. You know we haven't taken time to even ask God if law is what he wants for Sarah. We haven't even cared to listen to Sarah. Maybe we should listen to her and allow her follow her dreams. Sarah, we want you to tell us what you really desire to do and why. Good evening Mr and Mrs Johnson. My name is Sarah Tammy Johnson. I am 17 years old and I am here to pitch my reasons for choosing fashion design over a degree in law. But first, let me begin by saying thank you sir and ma for your guidance and care ever since I was a kid. I know you both want the best for me, but I believe following my passion would help me achieve my dreams. What you are looking at are my original sketches which have been self-taught. I believe a career in fashion design will help find fulfillment while pursuing my dream. I want to go to fashion school for a year then I would do a part-time study of business management while I work alongside on the brand I hope to develop. I just need you both to give me a chance. Well, at this point I don't think there's much we can do to convince you otherwise. Well, Sarah, my daughter, whatever happens, I just want you to know that we truly love and care for you. We will always be here for you. We agree with you. Thank you so much, mom and dad. I promise not to let you both down. Thank you, mom, for coming along with me to my first award. I feel a bit nervous. My dearest Sarah, 
I am very proud of you. You deserve the Trailblazer Award you got for fashion. You are so gifted and talented and your work is speaking for itself. Come on let's go get that award. Thank you so much for this award. I dedicate it to God for the wisdom and to my parents Mr. and Mrs. Johnson for standing by me from the beginning and watching my dream become a reality. Thanks to all my amazing clients that has given Sarah's couture a chance to style them.